Hi, this is Marcin Migdal from ActiveTVNetworks.com. This tutorial will showcase the functions of the ATVN registration module that's included with any of the platforms that you decide to purchase. As an owner of any of the ATVN platforms, you will receive a fully functional registration and sign-in module for your members. A registration module is the core module that moves data in between your website and your CMS. This module gathers person and demographic information from your users and is used to create their own identity on your website. On the screen, you're going to notice our default sign up module with the job and recruiting add on as well. That is why we have the network, job seeker, and a company option on the screen. Please note any of the fields and options on this page may be customized to fit your website's requirements if need be. Our built in CAPTCHA security ensures that no spam gets through. The terms of use is linked with your CMS control panel and completely automated. Once a member verifies their email account, they'll be given access to log in within the sign-in module. Once a user signs in, he'll be granted additional privileges. These privileges include image and video uploading, commenting, befriending and networking, job posting, ad posting, form and event calendar posting, mailbox access, and a whole lot more. All the members are monitored and tracked within your website's CMS control panel. Within your panel, you can search, browse, manage, and manually validate any account of your choosing. The sign up module is completely automated, integrated, and linked across all of the website's functionality and features. You will not find a better module and one that we can customize for your needs. Let's take a moment and review the steps by going through a sign up procedure. We can select a networking and social profile first. Once you create our account, we can log in and simply change our preferences and it will create additional sets of features for us based on us being a job seeker, a company, or simply a networking profile. Let's use John Doe. Click in is it available will display a pop-up. This pop-up searches through the database to ensure that no other user is using a username similar to yours. A user has the option of uploading a profile image as an avatar. The date of birth is optional and fields that are optional have an asterisk beside them. This means that the system will send out external notifications to my email account if somebody adds me as a friend, somebody rates my picture or an album, or the system administrator decides to send me a global message. I have the option of hiding my online status. Within the location dropdown, you can select the city where you're from. If the city that you're from is not found above, you can simply enter your city. This allows your website to be a global entity. Let's enter our capture security. Four, four, D, two, U, two. In step two of the registration process, the system automatically sends an email with a tracking validation code to the registered email address. In my case, it is this one. If I try to log in using my John Doe account, I will receive an error. As you can see, your mail is not verified. Let's check our email. I am using a mail to web client, which allows me to log in anywhere in the world. I have one message from Young Entrepreneurs Hub, and I will click on this. And here is our email. Because I have registered the name John Doe, the system personalizes the email sent to me. If you were to enter your domain name within the global properties, this would display your website domain name. Now you simply follow the steps. Once a user clicks on the validation link, they will receive this pop-up page, which thanks them for activating their account. And now I can log in with my John Doe information. Before I log in, under featured members, it is John Doe as a networking profile. Let's log in. Our account is now activated and live. And because I am only a networking profile, I don't have all the additional sets of options I would normally would as a job seeker or a company, which means I can access my mailbox, I can access my friends box, I can access my articles section and create articles within the system. I can click my profile which will display all the information I've entered when I signed up and I can enter my profile headline or a professional profile. 
Additionally, your users may enter their mailing address in case they were to purchase anything from your online store. Let's submit this information and see how our profile looks. If I don't click on my thumbnail, I can view my profile. And this is the information that I've entered. Because I don't have any images or videos or articles, they're not posted. Had I had some, it would look something like this. Here's my actual account and I'm registered as a job seeker. As you can see, the profile looks different. Here's my live stream account, which means I can stream my own TV show. And here's some images and videos that I have embedded. And here are my articles. So as you can see, there's a plethora of features available if you had this website at your disposal. Your users can have a lot of interactivity, including the activity feeds, which display the latest activities within the system. And they can follow only their friends or everybody else. Now let's switch to our CMS control panel as an administrator of this website and see what that looks like. And here's our control panel. I'm logged in as a master account holder. Click registered members on this website. You notice a lot of additional features on the very top because this is also used as an educational platform add-on. If we wish to search for a username that we've just created, we simply type in John Doe or part of the name and we click search it will display all of the Johns available within the system. Let's be more specific and add Doe at the end. And it displays all the information about this user when they registered, which IP they're from, and when they last came on to the website. It also displays any images, videos, points, referrals, wins, and articles that the person would have added as part of their profile. If I choose to edit this person's information, I simply click edit, and all of this person's personal information is displayed to me. I have the option of hiding, suspending, or deleting this person's account right from the admin. If I suspend them, you can see that their status is now suspended. If I try to log in as this user, I now get a message saying that my account appears to be frozen, suspended, or deleted. As you can see, you have a lot of control as the administrator of this website. Our CMS has been based on a lot of feedback gathered from all of our clients over the last two years, which means the navigation and usability of the entire website, front end and back, is second to none. Let's switch back to our admin and change the status of this member once again to active and log in. As well, if you wish to override this person's subscription and change them from a free member to a paid member, you simply do it within this drop down. We'll submit this and once again we'll test this out. And now I'm logged in. And that is our tutorial for today. Please tune in and view the rest of our tutorials to discover the features that will allow you as a business to grow and profit. Please visit ActiveTVNetworks.com and learn about any of our platforms.